हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अरिना इंटरनेशनल मास्टर एंड फीडे इंस्ट्रक्टर ऋषिकेश चौहान वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे प्रैक्टिस गेम ओके वी गॉट ब्लैक ओके स्टार्टेड विद एन एफ थ्री स्टार्ट विद जी सिक्स If he captures, will capture with c6, b6, uh, b6, uh, b7. Sorry. Okay. Let's play this right now. It's better to move this uh, rook away from this long diagonal. Is this? Then we are going to play this. Idea. If you place this, we are going to play b7 to the okay. Good, good uh, move. Let's move the queen away. Do not keep your uh, more valuable pieces in the line of opponent's long range pieces. So. All the opening fun is gone, so it's better uh, if we castle. We tried creating some uh, attacking chances, some imbalances in the opening, uh, but he defended well. So there is no point uh, in starting uh, uh, starting a premature attack when your pieces are not uh, developed well. Castles. Okay. Let's play this first, so that this file remains closed. Not exactly closed, but uh, then there is no pawn over here. And now maybe we can use this knight, like this, or maybe this. Okay, let's move the queen back. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not sure about this plan, but I it, it feels like we should keep this diagonal open. And now what? We need to find some weakness. This thing is blocked over here. Mm. 
maybe we'll play this i'm not sure in this position We captures we will capture there, there will be a double isolated pawn but i guess he may may not be able to attack the response right or maybe he can after knight a4 but again when this uh fian chattered bishop is sitting on g7 it's too risky to give up dark square bishop for white because this is the only bishop which can challenge this uh fian chattered bishop on g7 We can move our knight to uh, e6. We keep this pawn on uh, c6. So because of this pawn, uh, white's knight has no activity. Okay. Is he going uh, planning to play f5 or uh, sorry e5? Let's play this. I'm thinking about sacrificing d5 so that we can open the diagonal and uh, we can capture this thing. Uh, but again, I'm not sure. Maybe for now, let's open the diagonal of a uh, light square bishop. That's a lot of attack. I'm not able to find any concrete plan. Play something. I'm not sure whether this is whether there is a plan or no. I'm not able to find any proper plan. Okay, let him capture. We won't be capturing that for sure. Now we have this hole on e5. So I'm thinking about playing knight d7 and knight e5. Let's exchange this bishop because uh, right now there is nothing on this long diagonal. So we are thinking about occupying this square with the knight. 
That way, once this pawn is blocked, oh, that's strange. Where is it going, by the way? If he goes here, we'll capture the bishop first, check, then we'll capture this knight and the knight will uh, settle on this bit. okay. There is something new. Now we'll put the rook on d5, d4, sorry. So we need to exchange. We need to play rook into d8. Let's see what we can do over here. Uh, okay, he wants to do that. He gave up a pawn. That pawn is free, right? Okay, let's capture this pawn without further delay. I guess instead of playing this, we should have played this check and we are getting this uh, rook. And he should resign or... Okay. Not yet. Okay, he's trying to play this. Let's see. Where is he going, man? Let's give this check first, check, and then we are going to capture the bomb. Are we? No, not yet. Check. And he resigned. Yeah, that was too much for him. Uh, it was a nice game. Uh, we tried making different different plans. Uh, so your pieces should be active uh, so that you can uh, jump from one plan to other. Also, uh, there should be your plans should be flexible. 
so that uh, if one plan uh, doesn't work your pieces should be able to uh, uh, able to get ready or uh, pieces should be available uh, to use for the next plan so we got a nice plan and then he got over ambitious and he started pushing his king side pawns and then we created uh, holes between those pawns so that is why uh, you should push uh, your the pawns uh, with a uh, lot of thinking lot of thoughts because once you push a wrong pawn you cannot take that pawn back and that way you can create a permanent hole uh, the same way we created a hole on e5 then we used that hole then we used this other hole on d4 and finally we got a commanding position and we won this game so i hope you enjoyed this game thank you very much everyone